John Cena. Let me be direct with you. But you're wrong about one thing, John Cena. You're wrong about respect. You see, The Rock respects you. The Rock respects you. Knows what you've done. Just because The Rock has been away, don't think that The Rock doesn't know all about you. The Rock knows that you live and breathe the WWE. That you have become one of the greatest WWE superstars, one of the greatest WWE champions of all time. But it doesn't change the fact, flat out, that The Rock just doesn't like you. Look at us, John Cena. We are completely opposite. We look different. We talk different. We fight different. But the truth is, we're very similar. One thing, and that is the fact that whatever it is that John Cena does, whatever it is that The Rock does, they want to do it the absolute best, better than anyone, period. So we're very similar, except when we go shopping. The Rock shops at department stores. You obviously shop at Baby Gap. Oh, tr trust me, trust me. We're gonna get into some chants all night long, trust me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, th now this may come as a shock to a lot of people, to a lot of people, clearly somebody in the back. But I'm not here every single week. I was here, I was here every single week for years and years. That was my job, and I loved it. You see, The Rock, The Rock was born and created here in the WWE. And I, and I also know, I also know, and I know this, this is my truth. If it weren't for the WWE, and were not for all of you, The Rock would never exist. I respect the audiences. Unlike you, I respect the audience's intelligence because they know, they know that I was born in this business. And they know my heart and my soul is in this business. And they also know that I am standing in this ring right now in front of the world live for no other reason other than I love the WWE. And I will always be a part of the WWE, and the WWE will always be a part of me. John Cena, John Cena, you know, for years, I used to think that you were a phony. For years, for years, I thought there was no way that the guy who graduated from private school all of a sudden became the doctor of thugonomics. But then I realized, John, you're not a phony. No, you are that guy. You're that guy. See, John, you're not a phony. I don't even think you're a bad guy. But what you are is a Kung Pao 
bitch. No, hell no, 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 John, no. Because listen to me, John, listen to me. While you fight for them, I fight for them.